Dibs, stop. There's visitors today, so Dibs thinks he has to bark at everyone. Dibs, are you ready? Dibs, come here. Dibs, come here. Okay, so we cut a pass, like those right there. Um, I actually got a sample. Dad's gonna take it to town. Um, mom and Cody's mom are right there. And Cody's brother is, well, through that window. But I'm gonna have this, I have this handheld sampler. And while Dad takes it to town, I'm gonna see what this one says, because we're not sure if our moisture correction is right. That's why we're taking it to town. I'm gonna to see if this thing's right. So for so for this to work, you see this little lip right here it has to be pushed out. When you unscrew it and it's thin, it won't work. So you gotta get really tight to squeeze all that moisture so it's out. It's saying 12.9. Combine was saying like 15. I don't know. We're just gonna have to run a sample of the town. This is a new camera, so if it looks different, sounds different, that's why. Um, but yeah, it's been probably two weeks since we've cut, which is outrageous. I did not think that we would get here and it'd be two weeks before we can cut. Um, it has rained almost every single day. Um, the last video, I think it was, what did I say it was? Like 14 and a half, I think? Um, and ever since then, it has rained every single day since that last video. Um, actually, two days ago. It's been two days since it's rained, so we're out here trying it. Uh, we tried it yesterday, and it was 17% moisture. Hopefully, it's drying out. If not, um, but yeah, we'll just see. Dad right now is taking a sample to the elevator. Um, we We've taken probably three or four samples trying to get our combines right. Um, we have to calibrate the moisture since this is spring wheat rather than winter wheat. Um, I don't know why the moisture sampler is different on spring and winter, um, but yeah. This is Cody's brother, by the way. <laughs> Dad said the moisture is 13%, which it has to be 13 and a half, I think. So we're gonna cut a truckload not gonna last long just to go over here.
I just dropped off Mason. Uh, Mason is Cody's brother. Um, Cody's family came to visit him since they haven't seen him in like almost six months. So they came Cody out to visit. We didn't finish this field. Um, we're running into moisture problems. The elevator needs two loads of 13.5% moisture wheat because we are the first spring wheat to go in the elevator. So we left half of this field, actually more than half of this field, um, and we're gonna go change fields really quick um, and hopefully find drier wheat that doesn't have weeds in it, so. So I was just cutting and I backed up because I'm, I'm full. Um, and that looks like my center draper belt cover. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically just to protect my center draper belt. Uh, we're gonna go check that out. Definitely my cover. Huh. I have never seen it ever do that. I mean, it is folded up, mingled. I don't know, I don't know what happened. I have, uh, I have never seen a center Draper belt cover do that. That's awesome. Maybe put it under the PTO. That's not gonna ride, is it? I said, that's not gonna ride, is it? All you're gonna do is run it over. Uh, I guess when you dump me, just go get in the pickup and then come and pick it up, I guess. Been doing this for a long time. I've never seen that happen. We actually have ran without that door before. Um, when you're cutting super low to the ground and your header's really flat, sometimes it'll push on that cover and stop your center draper belt. So we have ran with it not on there before, so it's not that big of a deal. Although I'm sure that door is pretty expensive. If you've never been to Nebraska and wonder what the terrain is like, I don't know if you can see out in the distance all the uh, the sand dunes, or sand hills, I guess you should call it. Um, that's really all it is. It's really like a sandy, it's sort of like a, a sandy hill. Like It's just like rolling hills of, I guess, grass, really. It's grass growing on the sand. Think of like the Sahara Desert, but with grass. That's kind of like, that's kind of what I picture Nebraska is like. I don't know. Ever since I uploaded the first day of Nebraska wheat harvest, the next day, it has rained almost every single day until two days ago of today. So I think that puts us at like, I don't know how many days it's been since I've uploaded that video. It's been probably two weeks we've been rained out and it's rained every single day. Um, with it raining for two weeks straight every single day, there is consequences um, to the wheat and the ground. Um, one issue that we're running into is sprouted wheat. Um, you know, you have that much rainfall on your wheat, it's gonna start sprouting in the head. Um, we haven't seen that particularly on this farm, but the elevator that we're hauling to actually said that there has been a load that went in there with sprouted wheat. So we're kind of like looking for that. Um, and there's some other things that are way over my pay grade of what could be wrong with the wheat. Uh, I just cut the wheat, so <laughs> I don't really know a lot about that. So, Do y'all remember on my move date that I posted? Um, I told y'all that we were going to be here for like three or four days. I'm just going to stop saying that we're going to go somewhere for three or four days because it always comes out to be we're going to get there and we get rained out. So for now on, forever and ever, I'm never going to say that we're gonna pull in somewhere and it's just, it's just gonna be like a quick job because 
it never is a quick job whenever I say it's going to be a quick job, so I'm just going to stop saying it. Also, speaking of new cameras, even though I was not just speaking about new cameras, but I'm going to talk about new cameras. Not only did I get a new camera, what you're looking at right now, I also got this. Um, this is a Insta360 X3. It's a 360 camera, so no matter which way I hold it, um, it still can record whatever direction that I want. Although I'm not gonna use it for you know talking to, I'll use that camera. Um, but I specifically got this for time lapses. Um, maybe like on move days or moving to a different field or even just putting y'all on the end of the header or maybe the bin extensions or something like that. I could get like different shots um, with this camera. So it's, it's an action camera, it's waterproof. Um, it's supposedly really durable. Uh, I'll test that out and get back to y'all on that. But yeah, so we got this camera, this camera that you're looking at, and then my old camera. Uh, so maybe in the future, uh, not in this video, but maybe next one or the next one after that, I don't really know, but hopefully sometime in the near future, um, I get some different perspectives to put in the videos. So I'm really excited for that. I would have brought my second camera or my old camera um, today, but I didn't know if it would cut today, so I didn't really want to drag all that out here um, and then drag it all back. So maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I don't know, we'll see. This side of the field actually got hailed on, um, and it's probably making 15 bushel, which is pretty sad. Also, I don't know if I'm getting it all due to the fact of all the uh, dog smears. Dips likes to chase flies and he touches his nose to the windows, or if any bug jumps on the window, uh, he likes to chase it evidently. super weird you can see the exact point of when it started being wet and now the moisture is up it's crazy what humidity can do mom is on my five back there and she's reading about 14 2 uh, that's exactly what i'm reading but um this side of the field is way drier than that side of the field um, this is also the hailed outside um, so it's yielding a little less than that side what I'm trying to get at is maybe we can blend it off. The only concerns that I'm having with blending off is this side is yielding less than that side. We're headed east, so the east side of the field got hailed on and then the west side didn't. 
So the west side of the field is the good side. Um, it didn't get hailed on and it's wetter. The east side got hailed on but it's drier. It's also making 20 bushel less on the east side. It's really hard to blend something off um, when the side that you want is a less quantity of the stuff that you don't want. So, I don't know. We'll see if we can make it work or not. talked to dad and I kind of gave him a rundown on the moisture on half the fields or whatever. Uh, we're just going to call it for tonight. We don't want to push our luck um, and it be too wet. So we do have half a cart though. So if it is too wet, we can cut tomorrow with dry and at least fill the cart half with dry. If this is wet, we don't know if it's wet or not. Um, humidity can play a toll on the moisture sampler. Not saying it's always right though but um, we're gonna play our cards safely and call it for the night. So mom's about to come park next to me, right? Watch, she's gonna park crooked. Okay, well she parked on the other side of me. She's still gonna park crooked though. Man, I hate it when I'm right. I am even with her header right now. <laughs> she's so crooked. I always have to fix it. There. Now we're straight. If I had a dollar for every single time she parked her kid, I would have to come to work. But she's moving. I fixed it and now she's moving and now she's messing it up. I don't think I caught it on camera, but she just moved. I think that is gonna be it for today's video though. Um, again, this is a new camera. So if I have microphone problems or, you know, image problems. Bear with me guys. Um, I'm trying to learn a new camera, but that's going to be it for today's video. Today was kind of weird. Uh, we jumped right into cutting uh, rather than like servicing and all of that, but tomorrow should be back to normal. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all tomorrow.